ladies and gentlemen, ladies, are you ready for ladies, the one and only show? Gentlemen, live from Houston, Texas, H-Town. it's the go-to girl, the go-to professional girl. comedian, professional. TV producer, and TV founder producer. of MarryDate.com. It's millionaire matchmaker, millionaire matchmaker. Amber. Hey guys, it's your girl, matchmaker, comedian, Amber Neal. Welcome into the Amber Neal Show. Guys, we are so excited you could join us today. And you know how it is. We are always trying to bring you the best and latest information, how to help your life. Today we're going to be talking about what a secure relationship looks like. We know what a toxic relationship looks like. And some of y'all are not happy unless it's toxic. So we're going to help y'all kind of go to the other side and help you find what a secure relationship. And it might be hard to stop your toxic ways at first, but I promise you, once you go on your self-love journey and you do the healing, you will be allergic to toxicity and you will be ready for a secure relationship. But you have to be what you want to attract. So let's get you secure and let's give you the signs and signals of what it looks like when there are red flags in a relationship as well coming up at the bottom of the hour but first let me welcome in my co-host you guys have seen him in the nfl he is a legend on the collegiate i mean i don't even think your records have been broken ryan he is a best-selling author believes so you can achieve he is a philanthropist and he is the ceo and founder of the ryan yarbrough foundation welcome in my co-host ryan yarbrough yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you, hey. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey. Yes. So, you know, I think you knew Kim before I did. Because I remember when we met her at Cam Hill. Shout out to Cam Hill. I know, I know, I'm, I know I met Kim before you mm-hmm. did. I know I did. So, so we'll let you get, you, you give I her know, the intro then. I Go know. ahead. When, well, you you the, you the intro. I, I, <laughs> I, fill in, I fill in the blanks when it's all said and done. Kim is, uh, listen guys, Kim has been featured on the CW, Fox News, NBC, iHeartRadio, ABC News, the Digital Journal, and now the Amber Neal Show. Boom, that's how we do it. Guys, she is she is killing the game. So y'all welcome in my friend. She is best-selling author. She has all her books we're going to go over here. Y'all check her out. It is Real Women, Real Talk founder philanthropist she is uh i mean her 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 um resume not even a resume when you're an entrepreneur but her bio is so big but she is an author motivational speaker and philanthropist y'all welcome in kim mejia to the show watch out kim watch out kim watch, hey, watch, go, kim. Watch, 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 go out, kim go kim yeah. go kim <laughs> you know what i love about kim kim is there's very few and ryan is one of those people too and we in the last show we were talking about how People are tr- drawn to each other on where you're kind of at in your life, yes. and if you're um, happy or if you're not, or what you're trying to do. If you're working on an ego-based thing or a purpose-driven mm-hmm. thing. And when I met Kim, you know, it was so funny because Ryan told me that night that we met you, he's like, "Man, she's a go-getter. That girl is a go-getter. She don't play. You better get ready." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah," because you know, I feel like that's me. And it, it, and honestly, I just a lot of people want to work with me. But then the, when they see my level of intensity, mm-hmm. it's like the same thing they love, the same thing they don't like at the end. Yeah, we apologizing because we're going to get it. That's and right. man, your right. energy is phenomenal. I mean, you Thank have you. this uh, energetic uh, aura to you that it's just your your people are just drawn to you. And once I got to talk to her, and I saw, oh, she has such a heart for everyone else and not not Thank just you. not just you know okay yeah we're writing the books we're gonna get to the books but it is you have a heart to make sure people's soul is saved yes that that's, that's important wow that's amazing because you don't hear as much of that so, in the entertainment right. world so did I tell the story no, you was telling the truth. Because <laughs> she needs story. to come with a warning, honey. Because if you ain't ready for Kim, you better get up an extra hour early if you come to meet with her because she's going to be on it. Don't try to play her because she's going to get you. She's she going to get you. But, Kim, today we're so excited that you came on because, you know, we're going to jump into our topics here after our break. But let's go ahead and talk about your books, Real Teen, Real Talk. So uh, this this is for teens, adolescents focusing on the true insights of life with so many horrible things that they have faced. Tell us about the book. 
Well, I wrote this real team, real talk. It's basically a guide for parent and teen, more so for the teen. Mm -hmm. But it's for the teen, you know, we in school, it's, everything is academics. Right. And we're not f focusing on social skills. Right. So this is more for social skills and behavior, you to help the children because they have more problems than the adults these days. Ooh, amen. So I was thinking, you know, hey, let me hit this from a social perspective and try to help these children to deal with some of the horrors of regular life mm -hmm. with, for its peer pressure, bullying, a uh, bit too big of an agenda, pregnancy, mm -hmm. and different things that they're having to deal with out here, you know. And also on the on the reverse side is helping the parent be able to talk to this to teen rather than just saying, oh, not my child. Oh, you're going to listen to me my way or no way. Because oh. unfortunately, yeah. we're living in a world that we can't do that anymore. Mm -mm. Children are taking their life. So we need to try to pick their minds and they know exactly what's going on and set things in perspective to make sure we can get them the help that they need. I love that because I always say, Ryan, you know, how many, how many schools have to get shot up before we <laughs> right. literally will listen to our kids? They're hurting. Mm -hmm. And I think this is women. This is a conversation we need to have as men and women. Actually, I saw a statistic the other day that said this is the first time in 30 years that 70% of kids are growing up in a double parent household. Wow. 70%. Mm -hmm. That is phenomenal. And I think yeah. that's just COVID got y'all stuck together. Yeah. But we're going to jump started. Whatever yeah. reason for the season is a good reason. <laughs> we're going to jump started off of COVID. But okay. stay um, together. The kids wonderful. benefit, though. But because yeah. with women, and we've got to talk about that as women, we mm -hmm. are so focused on our careers now. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the way it's designed, if, if you want to become a wife, your first obligation is to be a helpmate, and that, and part of that is to take care of the kids. Yes. But now the women are, well, I got a bigger career as you do, and but the kids are getting lost. Right, they're most definitely getting lost because we, we're so many, we're so in so many areas. Mm -hmm. A lot of some women. Let's give a shout out first to those single women who are out there making it happen that Amen. don't have the fathers in the house because there's a lot of single women out there that don't have the father in the house to help them with the kid. That's right. But it's definitely a help when you have both parents because mm -hmm. if the woman is out here trying to make things happen, you know, it could kind of be a split shift. You know, mm -hmm. you could be there to take up some of the slack where she's doing everything because, you know, we're so many things. We're the cook, we're the mother, right. we're the lover, we're the friend, we're the wife, we're the sister, Not we're the doctor, generation. you know. Well, that's what we they're supposed like, to be. Say it. A fourth of divorces <laughs> last year were household chores. Because women nowadays are like, uh uh, I'm not visiting to cook, clean, do all the traditional roles, and go bring home the bacon. And so, well, I can't lie, fighting. I don't cook because my husband loves to. So, I just, that's just, but See? if I had to, wait a minute. But that's if good. I had to, I would. But fortunately enough, I have a husband that loves to cook every See? day, and that's just a blessing. Yes. But don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. If that need to have to be switched around, I have to do it, I don't mind doing it because. Yeah. I feel like in any relationship, you have to put in whatever you take out. That's right. Ooh, that part. That's right. But I think that is the, that is kind of more the mentality is because uh, the, the millennials are more focused on, they're not even looking at gender identity. They're not even claiming male or female. It, it, it is non-binary. So mm -hmm. it is, you know, we got to understand how this new generation thinks. Mm -hmm. And they're just trying to say it, they want more equality, but that, but like you said, you got to slow down and talk about those things that matter to you. Are you traditional? Do you want a traditional person, or are you more liberal? And you're like, okay, well, he'll cook, he'll clean, or she'll do. You know what I mean? Like, right. Mm -hmm. But slow down and, and talk about, about it, it mm -hmm. before you jump in bed. And you know, nowadays mm -hmm. it's like, hey, what was your name again? <laughs> right. That's uh, definitely in that book. <laughs> this book. <laughs> tell us about this book. This book here is Real Woman, Real Talk. It's mm. about characters of women. What are we willing to change to come together through love and understanding? We <coughs> spend so much time being catty with each other Ooh. and trying to scratch each other's eyes out rather than trying to help their sisters. You know, we're so jealous. We're, we can be so petty. And we always worry about what somebody else doing. If we share secrets, we can't keep the secrets to ourselves. <coughs> it's like women have been all over the place. This book is, is, is to stop being that hater that you are. This Ooh. book is characters <laughs> of women and change, you know. I give every character that you could possibly go from the, a woman scorned, the abused woman, the diva, the business woman, the mother's wow. child. A crazy ass bitch. Uh, you know, I give everything. You know, the crackhead woman, wow. uh, the gambling woman, the working woman, the <laughs> nagger. I mean, I have about 54 different characters, and really, I could have wow. gotten more. But it's to make us look at ourselves because we're going to never meet ourselves. So when you see this on paper, you're like, my God, this is me. What about this can I change and try to get it right? 
Because, you know, we're just going into life full force, as you're saying. We're not thinking. We're not taking our time. We're not being conscious of our walk. Mm -hmm. We're just doing everything we can to stay up and hurt each other. We have to slow down and say, hey, this is not the person I want to be. Mm -hmm. You know, let me look at myself and see what I can change to be better in the sisterhood. So that's why I wrote this book, to bring about <coughs> change in the sisterhood, a healing change, so we can heal to be able to move forward. Yeah, I got her too. To move forward on some of these hurts and, and pains we have going on. Ah, uh, this is we're, okay. We're gonna dissect this a little bit more when we come back because some of these in here, I'm like, why ain't the crackhead woman? Let's see. I'm definitely, but this is one thing I talk about. Um, <clears throat> the Bible says that a nagging woman will push a man to the corner of the rooftop, mm -hmm. and that's one thing we've got to really understand that the submit, the submission, the submit word. It's not an ugly word. It's not a dirty word. Right. It's a real thing. But you're as women, we have to slow down and let a man submit to us first. Mm -hmm. Let us show that he is that person he says he is. Let us see the patterns over time. Mm -hmm. So if you jump in bed and then you're hoping you can change them, you're lost. Right. Right. So I definitely want to talk about that because a lot of women nowadays, especially women that have grown up with no men around at all, mm -hmm. The biggest naggers on the planet. Right. And that what you just said, jumping in the bed, just because he was a, a great bed partner don't mean he's a great father figure for your mm. child. That's we definitely in there in a mother's that choice. That the so heart it's heart. a lot of stuff <laughs> pertaining exactly where you're coming from. Don't answer. So all, all that is right in that book because we're not making the right choices. Yeah, because some good sex will have you in a whole situation. Mm -hmm. A whole crazy Having one. Having kids if with you them. Think with, if you think with your, that down between the yeah. BJ, you can't be thinking with that. Miss That's it. a different story. That's a different book. The nymphomaniac. <laughs> hey. Wow, this is amazing. Procrastinating. Miss Know-It-All. Soul Searching. Complete Package. Slutty Girls. That's, that's your that's friends in college. <laughs> Uh, all right, guys. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> many, many moons ago, as my dad would say. All right, let's take it. Let's before we take our break, let's jump into the last. Uh, is this the wrong one? Okay, well, there we go. That better copy. Better, that yeah. get a little water when you waste. It's a so. man's world. It's a man's world. Is this still a man's world, Ryan? All the time. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna See, talk about got, that. I'm sitting on the panel with two strong women, and I'm standing on my own. Well, Standing I think, my I, ground. I think over Ryan needs to read purpose. the back of Ooh. a man's world. There you go. Read the back of a man's world so y'all can know what type of world it is well, for a man. That's, that, see that? Hmm. I need to pull it away from you. Here, look, you look, need, look. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody can't see you. Nobody can't see you with the pinky sound. Oh, yeah, you can see through those. You can see the freaking. Uh, I want him to read that so the men can know what kind of world it is for a man's world. You can see Neptune with those glasses. <laughs> Yeah, they're hard strength. We can't hear you, right? Why not? Oh, you want me to read out loud? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no problem. No problem. I, I think I still know how to read. Okay, okay, okay. 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 <laughs> Once growth and progression speaks to you, you should definitely see a change for the better. No one is perfect, but they demonstrate growth and progress for you to buy into them. Be afraid of people who <laughs> say, accept me for me, because it's clear that they haven't reached a growth place and or progression in life. I've never, let me see, I've never used the phrase accept me as I am because I'm working to be the best person that I could possibly be. Accept me as I am today, but support me in my growth tomorrow. That's right. Success is to be measured not so much by the position one has reached for in life, but by the obstacles which have been overcome while trying to succeed wow. in life. There you go. See, I did, I did so, pass So now it. you get what the book is yeah. about. It's for yeah. a man to change in. It's a man's world to change in, you know. So, you know, if you want to change, this will be the book for you. It's to be that better mate, that better husband, that better father, you know, mm -hmm. that soulmate. You know, that, you know, pretty much the same uh, subject matter I use in this one, except I use th this one. I come from a Christian perspective because I right. feel like with a man, you have to take him from the head and the heart. Women, we're more of a brick, so I have to use a brick for us because we don't like to listen to anything. We're cat and stubborn. So for the men, so like I the had to take a different approach because to make y'all get the word, you know, you're the lead. You're really the lead of the house. Right? Yeah. So the yeah. Bible says, you know, give the man the lead. He, the, he's the head of the household. So y'all supposed to be walking that straight line and we pulled to follow behind. But so, and if you start getting crazy, Crooked, then the woman take that lead, and when he get back in line, we get back behind you. So I got this book to make sure that you, the, the lead, get the word, mm -hmm. so you can lead this household. And, and, and I, wow. I totally understand that, but I, I personally, 
grew up with women that stood besides they man. I don't even like nobody walking behind me. Well, I'm because, just because today <laughs> or tomorrow might be a different day than it was yesterday. So I don't <laughs> like looking behind my mind. <laughs> I'm just taking it from you the know, I'm just messing wow. with you. You know I'm just messing with you. Yeah, we need to do like a whole weekend retreat about these books. Like for real. Like this, breaking this down like this, this mm -hmm. is well, I definitely wow. have my retreat coming up. It was February, but I had to put it back due to COVID. Can you hang it up, please? Just push. Oh, just to climb. Yeah. The climb at the top. Thank okay. you. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The and hotline ain't open right now. Yeah. I got the match for the hotline. hotline on. Now you should have called. I told you about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to take a break, but I love the titles in the chapter Irresponsible, Peaceful, Messy giving, abusive, ordinary, the husband. See, a, pro a lot of the problem with you guys, we're going to come back to these topics too. A lot of the problem with you ladies out there is y'all are giving men husband benefits. There's a really cute TikTok going around and she's like cooking bread. She's about to cook for her man and it's like, that ain't your man. That ain't your man. That ain't your husband. And then she's about to give a foot rub and then you hear her voice, that ain't your husband. That ain't your husband. So that's our topic today. That ain't your husband. Okay. Oh, some of them get mad when you say that. Well, that's why they have a boyfriend and yeah. not a husband. Right. And, and we, <laughs> have to, we have to realize we got to be faced with truth at some point or another because why mm -hmm. would you buy the milk if you can get the car for free? And why would you settle for some sauce? Just for mm -hmm. a little pig. No. Okay. But that's my point. Is is they'll, they'll ride you as long as they can without a, a, a obligation, without a dedication. Yeah. If you allow it to help them, what you it allow will continue. Ooh, okay. And wait till the commercial And that's why. And that's why. We're called a brick. <laughs> Because as women, we have selective hearing, and we hear what we want to hear. But we got to take a quick break, guys. When we come back, we're going to jump back into the topics today. We're going to jump back into the, uh, her books and kind of apply these. We're talking today about what a secure relationship feels like and eight flags that you really want to look out for in any relationship. So y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with our special guest, Kim Mejia. Right. Events and Adventures knows how to make the most of being single. Get social, in person, try new things, and just have fun. Join Events and Adventures. We've been doing the single life right for over 30 years. 30 great events every month. Just visit eventsandadventures.com. AT&T Fiber delivers a faster internet experience than cable. Ask me how to get 300 megabits per second for only $35 a month, plus taxes and fees, with no annual contract, no bundles required, and unlimited internet data included. Call Bus Up Houston Network at 832-895-5095. Again, that is Boss Up Houston Network at 832-895-5095. Limited availability may not be available in the area. Speed claims based on the live upload and download capacity of internet 300, internet 500, and internet 1000. First case video, space, and cost for internet 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, Hello everyone, this is Judge Mike Englehart. I've been one of your elected trial court judges since 2008. I'm running for the first court of appeals in the 2022 election. If you can hear this ad, I'm asking for your vote in the March 1st, 2022 Democratic primary. I've been named trial judge of the year and I'm a board certified lawyer. Please vote for me, Mike Englehart, to send a qualified, reasonable, and fair judge to the first court of appeals. That's me, Judge Mike Englehart, for the first court of appeals. Please register to vote and vote for Judge Mike Englehart for the first court of appeals. Thank you. Maridate is for committed couples that are either engaged or married and would like to keep the dating in their marriage, fight for the family, and lower the divorce rate one couple at a time. We plan 30 to 50 events a month that include workshops, seminars, webinars, experts, and events all around town. This is for couples that want to develop friendships with other like-minded couples that take their marriage and vows seriously. We will also be offering premarital help so that you will not be a statistic. Would you and your partner like to take international vacations together with other couples and at group rates? When you are home, you will learn your city as you go to each new event. Your membership includes all of our locations. We take the guesswork out of creating, having, and keeping a strong marriage. Contact us today. Are you single? Maybe you're divorced or new in town. It's time to meet your match with events and adventures. Whether you're low-key or adventurous, come hang out with tons of like-minded people at exciting group activities. 
the best part? Everyone is single. From happy hours and trivia nights to outdoor adventures and weekend getaways, Events and Adventures has something for everyone. We're all here for the same reason. So come be part of a community made for singles. Your match is waiting for you to make your move. Visit eventsandadventures.com to get started. That's eventsandadventures.com. Hey guys, welcome back into the Amber Neal Show. Guys, we are super excited because we have some really great topics for you today. We are talking about what a secure relationship looks like, how to tell about those red flags, and we have a very special guest, Kim Mejia, who's come on. She's a best-selling author, philanthropist, motivational speaker. She's been featured in news outlets all over the world, and we're very blessed to have her in studio today to talk about her book, It's a Man's World, also her book, Real Woman, Real Talk, and then also she has her book for the teens, because we can't Forget the teens, real teen, real talk. Because, you know, back in the day when I was growing up, we used to, you know, we used to get beat. And, uh, it would, it would, you know, you can't do that now. Nowadays, <laughs> yeah. the kids will kill your ass. Uh, so we got to be careful. They will call CPS. Yeah, they will call. My da- you know what? I tried to tell my daddy that when I was 18 one time. And he said, uh, so he, he called the sheriff and he called the, um, the pastor and told him to come on over and witness a good old-fashioned ass whooping. He's oh, wow. like, if I'm going to jail, right. everybody's going to know what really happened. If okay. I'm going to jail, you're going to get beat. Yep, right. uh, you know, right. but uh, rest in peace, Daddy. I'm not scarred at all. Can you okay. tell? Right. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. We all got just a uh, little. Uh, I don't have a twitch. Uh, what? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Welcome in my co Ryan Yarborough back into the show. Hey, Ryan, yeah, best-selling yeah, author. Yeah, yeah, And your book goes very well with our message, don't you think? Absolutely, positively, because I'm waiting to get in, to dive into okay. her books because, once again, I've known Kim for a little while now, and uh, she's very expansive. Uh, she's a very, very intelligent woman. Okay, and as you can see, she dresses the part Beautiful. as well. Okay, so don't don't let her, don't let her. You know, <laughs> hey, she she's a lot she's a lot of things she's a lot of things all wrapped up in the one. But um, all good stuff. Yeah, but our books do coincide very well. And one thing that that I appreciate about Kim is she's very transparent. Okay, she say what she mean and she mean what she say. Mm-hmm. All right, you don't have to. You do have to go into the book because you don't ne- never know anybody just by that cover. But Kim gonna let you know off the top, okay? <laughs> and that's how all her writing is as well. So it won't be you won't be scratching your head. Hmm, what does she mean by this? Or what does she mean by that? If you don't understand what she wrote down, then uh, you need to talk to her directly. But definitely get them books because they all are beneficial to the male, to the female. Into the teenagers, Boom. all at the same time. Can't Bam. beat that. That's how it's done. I love it, Kim. Kim, is, I just love yeah. Kim. She is just amazing, and we've got some really great things we're working on together too. And it's going to be some phenomenal things. Um, so let's jump into our topics today. Um, <clears throat> and real quick, so people can get the book RealWomenRealTalk.com. Yes, and I'm also in Walmart, Target, Baylor's, hey. Diamonds. I'm probably in about 14 stores. I don't mm-hmm. want a lot of y'all to tell y'all mm-hmm. name them because mm-hmm. I don't even know all of them. But just to give you some of the ones that I do know, Barnes & Noble, Walmart, Target, Baylor's, Diamonds. I was sitting there writing it, as a matter of she fact. She said Google her. Yeah. Google <laughs> her. <laughs> and then if you just go to my website, it's, of course, I'm always trying to send you directly to my website. Of course. It's www.realwomanrealtalk.com. Got some fabulous things on there to order, but I am in all these other stores. But who mm-hmm. doesn't want you to go to their website? Right. That's exactly. Right. And that way she can send it out to you. And, well, they're uh, going to send are, it. I ain't going to Saying nothing, it won't be autographed. They okay. barely that. No. Okay. Now, if you want an autograph for only a one-time price of fifty-nine thousand dollars, <laughs> that's gonna be extra because you're making me work. That's good. No, it's automatically built uh, the site. So go to that site for fifty-nine thousand. She'll come to your house and do it. At, you don't have to leave your living room. She'll come do it for fifty-nine thousand. And if you are at the store, they ain't gonna sign it either. So it ain't gonna see what you're coming from the store. But of course, if I'm somewhere and you want to see the show, of course I'll do it once you buy the book. I and definitely Kim, don't have a problem with that. Kim is man. You you were at all the big high publicity events too, so but to find out where she's going to be because listen, it, to get her book is life changing truly. Mm-hmm. But if you want to really just get in her energy and like really feel the author, anytime you can actually meet the author, you want to do that. 
Because you'll get those little bit of nuggets that they're probably in there. Mm -hmm. It's just that to hear it, sometimes it resonates different in your spirit than when you read it. You know what I'm saying? All right. Well, let's jump in. So does anybody out there know what a secure relationship looks like? Because we know what toxic toxic relationships look like. Um, One of the things that I've said as a matchmaker, I've never had a divorce client. And let me tell you all why. Because the one major thing that I teach my clients is how to be vulnerable. That's number one. You cannot really have trust unless you are willing to get to vulnerability. And that's when they have to see, because a lot of you that send your representative Mm -hmm. and then if finally the mask falls off and they're like, who the hell are you? And you're wondering why you're getting divorced because you never were able to get vulnerable. You were never able to say, this is the ugly part of me. This Mm -hmm. is what I had to heal from, or this is what I'm still healing from. But I will take somebody who uses that language of I'm in my healing process yes. versus somebody who's like, I'm good. Yeah. Like I'm fine. Ain't nothing. And you're so delusional, not self-aware enough that you are the problem. Yeah. Saying take me as I am. Right. You know, take me as I you, am. You definitely got to have that. Like you said, that vulnerability, that truth, that love, that understanding, that listening power, that communication skill, mm-hmm. because you know, sometimes it's simple as like, I can just give people an example. When I first got married, that first year of marriage, I, marriage, I always tell people, if you get to that first year, you can make it. Because you're trying to sort out who the damn boss is. And, that, and, and <laughs> that's all in your mind. Like, he ain't bossing me, and in his mind, I'm going to boss you. Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of a back and forth thing. That's how it's kind of going. You're not saying it, but that's how you're thinking. But I realized, that I learned real quick, because I'm like, I'm not going to be arguing every day. Nah. I ain't going to be throwing your clothes out here every day, letting you come back <laughs> right. in. Shit, I, I, you know, that's what, I'm being honest. I was young and foolish, and that's what I was doing. Well, so, you girl. know what I did? I said, you know what? I'll put my guard down. I'm going to let him be the man. Mm. As soon as I put my guard down and allow him to be a man, he just gave me everything on the plate. I can, it, it changed right in that instant. Because that's all they really want is you to submit. Be submissive. And after that, the hell, they don't really care if you be the boss. On the real, right. it's just to let you know that you ain't fit to run over me. Turn it off when you get home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then once they realize, okay, now she gets it. Mm-hmm. Then I made me turn over a new leaf. As soon as I done it, I'm like, damn, that's all I had to do. I could have been the done that. I wish right. I could fi- <laughs> but I had to figure that out for myself. Because right. men usually not gonna tell you that. They're not gonna say, well, uh, you ain't gonna run me. You gotta be vulnerable. They're not gonna tell you what they want. Mm-hmm. They're not gonna break it down because they're not like us. We know how to communicate that kind of thing too. Right. I mean, we, we we'll go down the whole line. Most women do. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't that most women. I ain't gonna tell you nothing. I want you to figure me out too. Yeah. Because I do think like a man. Right. You can kind of tell I'm my kind of the same way. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I kind of think like a man. Yeah. But so by me thinking like a man, I was able to figure that out quickly. Mm-hmm. And I let I said, you know what? I'm gonna let him be the man. Make him feel secure in himself. Let him know that hey, you're the head of the household. I'm gonna respect that and once I did the simple thing it's like hey that wouldn't even apply. I could say some okay we're gonna do this okay baby because I had let that guard down and let him See? know that hey I follow you you are better lead. listen mm-hmm. and it's simple things that we can do to and, and that nagging you know mm-hmm. you can't be doing all that I don't like a nagging man I don't like nobody nagging period period, period. period. and period. I don't want no nagging man so do them you think a man want a nagging woman no, 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 and, no, no. and then it goes back to the scripture of you're supposed to talk to God about it. And I know that right. may feel abnormal at first because you really want to tell him about himself today. But that's the wrong thing to do. you got to right. pray about it. And trust me, if God can bend the heart of kings, he can bend your man's heart. Or your right. You know what I'm saying? Let it go. But being vulnerable is mm-hmm. not an easy thing. Um, it's not. It, it, it's not because especially if you've ever been hurt and you got those scars, but that's why you should not be dating if you are not healed. That's right. Because that's you right. can't be vulnerable until you've healed from those things. And at the end of the day, looks at, I, I've seen so many types of relationships and so mm-hmm. many different dynamics. And the one truth is at the end of the day, nothing's guaranteed. It's, it's a gamble. It. Because, yeah. you know, people people wake up and feel different all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, people Most change. Definitely. They think they're for better or for worse. And, and you you hope that's what happens. But, in, but if without having the ability to feel comfortable with being vulnerable, mm-hmm. you're not going to have a secure relationship, which will lead to destruction if you don't get it uh, addressed. You agree, Ryan? I totally agree. And going and going into number two, just talking about not being afraid to go head to head and disagree, okay? Mm-hmm. Because as I was, I was talking to Kim a little earlier, her birthday is a day before one of my best buddies, uh, my age myself a little bit. We've been buddies since 
we've been buddies for 45 years. Wow. Okay, we've been buddies for 45 this years. Is a lot. But please yeah. believe we don't agree with everything. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and and, and I know I know I'm talking about my buddy friendship, but even on the on the flip side, mm -hmm. uh, as far as with a woman, mm -hmm. uh, my longest relationships and my best relationships have been with women with we don't agree with everything. And it's cool. Mm -hmm. I I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that either. Okay, <laughs> right. but we passed. We gonna That's go right. past. We gonna get past that because once again, whenever you agree with somebody all the time, you either either that do boy or that do girl. Okay, mm -hmm. and that means you don't have a mind for you, mind for yourself. Exactly. That's why I was talking about having somebody walk side by side with me versus a couple of steps behind. Okay. Well, nobody because, wants to push over. Let's just get that key. Right there, you go. You know, because that 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 situation, you're not gonna respect that over a long over a long period Most of time. Definitely. You're not gonna respect that over a long period right. of time. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, but I agree. I I don't even outside of just relationships. Like even in my business life, I don't like yes people. Mm -hmm. I want somebody. I, I will. I, passive aggressive is my number one pet peeve. That's why you like me. Yes. <laughs> no, it is. No, it is. Because I'd be like, oh no, hell no. No. <laughs> no. no, that's me. Though. Let's rethink this. I'm a man. That, I'm a, I think more like a man too. But I'm not doing that. Like, mm -hmm. I, but I just I have never understood. Mm -hmm. It blows my mind when you're trying to have a conflict with somebody and you don't even know. They don't even tell you they're mad in the moment. Mm -hmm. And then six weeks later, you're like, well, you know, the other day when you said the other oh. day. Yeah, no, oh, the no. seasons have done changed, and now no, you're talking right. about the other yeah. day. That's what you call uh, being uh, fake, though. That's the fake yeah, that. Yeah. That's why when you're saying when you're transparent and you tell people what it is, either you're gonna love me or you're gonna hate me. Because right. I'm get you. It's it's best to lay the cards on the table to have yeah. people respect you. Right. I prefer you tell me how you feel than a lot of me. Because when you come telling me like you said the other day and bringing some of them, I'm like, damn, they were sitting here thinking this craziness and never mm -hmm. put it out there. Mm -hmm. So I like people to know how my 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 thought pattern is. So if something go, is not going like they think, it's, I try. To tell them right then so they can say no, yeah, or something. But don't wait till we sit and make this whole agreement and then you come back and talk and want to change it because you don't know how to think for yourself. Because that's annoying to me. Yes. That is and so I feel like we too damn old anyway to be going through that kind of stuff. Everybody should have a, th a thought process right, right. and open their mouth and say what's going on and what the, how they want things done. It's just, I don't, because really, when you look at fear, where does fear come from? When it comes to, well, anger comes from thinking someone did something to you on purpose. Mm -hmm. And fear is is, is you're afraid I ain't afraid I, you can't ground me you can't beat me I mean what you gonna do you know what I'm saying like <laughs> right. why are you scared to tell somebody the truth you're an adult right. I think a lot of people just be stuck in their own head with a lot of things thinking like oh they're gonna think this they're gonna go think that oh they're gonna do sometimes people have crazy thoughts especially in this season because they've been locked up a little longer right. and they was already someone was already dealing with mental illness right, and then right. they've been locked up longer shit they're dealing with double mental illness right, yeah. right. so you got to try to drag and pull things out of people now sometimes and it's like you know, it shouldn't be like that it, it really shouldn't girl, but I can't I can't <laughs> uh, it is. I'm telling you like that will make me cut somebody off quicker than quick as I is like if you know my as I say I'd rather be hated for who I am than Nothing love for who I'm not. Because I'm quick to tell you, I can't read your mind because, you know, that kind of came up. Well, I was really looking for somebody to come and help me, and nobody came forward. When I was going to this thing, I'm like, well, who did you tell? Okay. Right. That was the first question. Right. Okay. Oh, well, I didn't think I should have told nobody. I'm like, well, how in the hell somebody know what you're going through if you didn't think <laughs> Ooh, crystal ball. to tell them? I'm like, ain't we, ain't we, uh, you know, we know yeah. prophets. I mean, I got good discernment. Yeah. But I can't discern out everything. Okay. And they discern. don't want to discern everything. Are you sure don't? <laughs> and but a lot people, of people think want like to find a problem, though. That's the problem. Yeah. Is a lot of people are drawn to drama. All right, guys, we're going to jump on to our next one. This is really important because um, you're in a secure relationship when you have freedom. Mm -hmm. The thing is, one of the one of the very first uh, news appearances I did when COVID first started mm -hmm. was how the divorce requests had doubled 50% because we oh. didn't have autonomy. And we're so used to our, our life, our schedule, keeping us here, keeping us there, boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. You don't really have to think. Now, you if you got two unhealed people in a house together, all of a sudden they can't figure out how to turn the garage into a man cave. Like, how hard is that? <laughs> Mm. Like, do you want to fight about it, or what is it? And, I, and people say, "Oh, where are all the divorces coming from?" It's come to me. I think it's two things: it's unhealed people that are together, and it's people that are creepers and they can't can't get out to their side piece. Yeah. I mean, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then they try to find an argument to try to, to have that get away, that escape, and that here, here goes the explosion. 
because you know it's a lot of side pieces already going around during that time. And then you're locked in there and you're mad because you can't get out and do what you want. So you're starting a whole war in the house. Yeah, it's like, wait a minute, we're you COVID deal with them free. all the time, not knowing that, hey, you can go in this room, I go, hey, your house is big enough that you ain't got one bedroom. That's all I can say. Trying to give there, each other air. They're over there talking about, honey, the whole house is COVID free and no one in our house is left. But how did you get COVID when you came back from the store? Right. Uh, mm-hmm. man, yeah, her man, name's man. Tammy. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, my friend. Or Tommy. <laughs> or Tommy. Or, Tom. Tom. <laughs> or Karen. Or Linda. <laughs> I'm her. kidding. I'm showing a cra- crazy yeah. name out there. But yeah. but that's how you know you're secure in a relationship is you have freedom. That's Listen, right. you don't own people. You can't yes. put people in a glass case. Yes. They're not a freaking bird in a cage. Yes. It, for me, it turns me off. I want to be wanted. I want to be pursued. I want to feel desired. If I have, to, if I feel anything less than that, but at the end of the day, if you have true vulnerability, then you can have trust. And That's if you right. have trust, you can have freedom. So right. there's steps to this, and you can't skip the steps. More than likely, right. if you don't have the trust, it's because you weren't able to be comfortable being vulnerable with your real self, so you, you keep that part of you hidden. Right, and you can't go out and do your job. Like a woman like ourselves, we're business women, and you have a husband at home. Then you have to travel from state to state, because a lot of times I'm flying in out of, out of town, and my husband don't always go with me. So if you don't trust that person, they're gonna be like, oh, where you going? Well, you can't go here. Just you don't want to even marry into nothing like that, cause that's yeah. kind of craziness right there. Uh. But believe it or not, you have a lot of that crazy going on where you have business with men. Thank God I ain't been meeting none of them lately in the last past years <laughs> of my life. But in the in the beginning, I used to meet men that I did business with, and they'd be like, you know, I got a crazy wife. I'm like, well then, uh, that's your problem. What yeah. they got to do with me? Right, right. I'm doing I'm business bed. with we you. I'm business. like, they ain't got nothing to do yeah. with me. Keep your crazy wife intact, <laughs> yeah. cause my husband that crazy. He got good damn sense, and he know how yeah. business practice go yeah so when you going and yoking up with this kind of crazy mm. that's a, part, a problem to begin with mm. yeah. because that should be understood from the get-go if you're doing a you're a business person and you have friends and friendships and you live in life as long as you're doing things in a orderly way right. respectfully what a that's respectful right. way it shouldn't be that you shouldn't right. be having you have to have that self-security in mm. yourself be self-assured in yourself you know mm. a lot of people they have low self-esteem Men and women. Which is the other side of that for men, Ryan, because mm-hmm. I've heard a lot of my guy friends, especially the matchmaker, and I, I always hear the divorce stories or why people are single now. Uh, and listen, there, listen, ladies, that's why it's important not to nag and to accuse because I've had so many men tell me, if I'm going to get accused of it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> so careful that's what you fact. speak over your life because yeah. I, I'm telling you, because a dude may be straight and narrow. Mm-hmm. And if no matter how much, no matter what, there are people that literally put and tracking women. devices on their cars. Mm-hmm. They download apps that creep on their phone. I'm sorry, I will never. I refuse. Me I'm either. not. I'm not doing it because I look good and I can find another man. So, That's right. What you but, say, but, Ryan? We, but women cheat too, though. This is oh, that hey, 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 Eighty-five percent of women. Eighty-five. So I ain't trying to put that. But I know. But look, no, I ain't trying to put that out on them. Out on me. No, it ain't though. You're right. I, 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 right. I right. met some women that's cheap. But they, we just better at it. That's all I'm. We are better at it. Matter of fact, more sneaky. You can't catch us. First of all, they think they are. They think they are, and they and they talking into the wrong camera. Okay. So. Oh, audience right here, all right? <coughs> she asked me what do I think about it. Yes, you're supposed to give each other, one another freedom because as, she, as Amber also said, you are an individual. You came into this world as an individual. You didn't come into this world linked to no one, and no one owns you, male or female, okay? That's right. But personally, I have to, I mean, I've always had to have some agreements with who I was dealing with for the simple fact is I like to have my own freedom. So how am I going to clamp down on somebody if I don't want to be able to be clamped down on, okay? And I don't like being clamped down on. So (laughs) I'm going to have my freedom. Therefore, my woman and whoever I'm dealing with is going to be able to be free as well because that's, once again, that's because of insecurity, you know, in a lot of ways, you know? And if you know somebody is doing something, and you continue to accept it, that's on you. It really is. You know, that's on you. If you choose to accept it, because guess what? Some people accept it. So can't get mad at that either. And women are, women. like you said, 85%, I saw a survey, 85% of women surveyed admitted they have a plan B guy. 
Not mm-hmm. that they're acting on it, but that's where we as women have to read to have this conversation where everybody's confused on who does what. Part of it, though, is instead of demanding more from men, we just became like what we hate the most. Mm-hmm. So we have to own that. A man can't have a mistress if you're not one. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That's and right. Jesus don't ever send you nobody else's husband. So yeah, right. at that part, we got to move on but, to the but next But I know one. y'all think they do, but he don't send you nobody don't. else's husband. <laughs> he don't. But, you know, but he's my like, soulmate. Oh, girl, he going to be my man. He's my husband, my yeah. soulmate, baby. No, that's that woman's husband. And they're dumb, too, because they're like, oh, he'll he'll commit. Like, a lot of women will think, oh, he'll commit to her. He'll mm-hmm. commit to me. What he'll commit to is you lose him the same way you got him, period. What's number right. four, Ryan? Number four is your boundaries are respected. Mm. Okay, not repeating yourself. So that's number two behind passive aggressive is repeating myself. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's just my number one. Well, I, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm 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 notorious for not repeating myself. You are. I'm notorious mm-hmm. for, because when it when it comes down to it, anything, um, I'm a detail oriented person. So once again, you get what you give, or you expect to get what you give, mm-hmm. okay? Now, depends on who it is. Uh, younger, younger people, I will talk to a little more often than someone that is my particular age or things like that, an adult, put it that particular way. Mm-hmm. But I I really don't like repeating myself Ugh. over That's and over time. and over, and I'll get <laughs> silent before I, I continue to repeat myself because even just like, say, for example, not not to explain myself or anything like that, but if I tell you I feel a certain way, that's how I feel until I tell you otherwise. Right. Okay? So if I tell you that I love you, that means I love you. I might not tell you that for some weeks. Okay? But until unless I told you I don't love you anymore, <laughs> then that's where it stands still. So, Bye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, and, and that's how I've lived my life. Uh, don't mean it's necessarily right, don't mean it's necessarily wrong. But as far as on knowing the boundaries and being respected, you know, you have to, you have to, you have to respect somebody's boundaries because once again, they are individual. And you know who don't respect your boundaries is a manipulator. Oh, the only reason somebody gets <laughs> mad is because they is because they can't manipulate you. Yeah, they in the book too. Mm-hmm. All right, the last one. <laughs> we gotta take a quick break, guys, and then we gotta come back to the book too. Yeah. Uh, a secure relationship. The last one is you're able to grow and change. I'm gonna leave you guys with this. Um, man was asked. He was married for 70 years, and he was asked, "What was the secret oh. to y'all's marriage?" He said, "I was married to eight different women." And <laughs> And, wow, wow. and he meant she evolved into eight different women because, uh-huh. okay. and I think that's where people go wrong because you got to heal and get secure. Because let's take Ryan for example. Let's say, the, and this is just hypothetical. Let's say that you're in you're in high school and you meet your love of your life in high school, but you have aspirations to become an actor or a pro athlete or whatever. You know, you want to be prince when you grow up, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and, but then people, if they're not healed, if you're already insecure at high school drama. Mm-hmm. Wait till they hit the NFL, okay? Right. Uh, you got to listen. And I, I, and I look at pictures like Stephen Curry. There was a picture of distractions in the games. Mm-hmm. There's one girl. She clearly got ready, and she's ready to become a baby mama that night, you know. But mm-hmm. there are scandalous people out here. But, you know, his wife don't flinch. That's what that is what it takes because you have to be so healed and so secure that if you try to date somebody in that arena, most of the time, and that's always been the big question: is should entertainers or people that are professional athletes, uh, you know, people in in, in the spotlight, yeah, should you date somebody in the spotlight or should you date somebody out? It don't matter. You mm-hmm. got to date somebody healed. That's yeah. your real answer. Because if you start at high school and you're the you're the the high school football star, and then you go to the NFL and she ain't ready or she got insecurities, y'all gonna you ain't gonna work. Yeah, healed and ready. If you're married in the NFL, you better be healed and ready. Because you know they got all that money. They real manipulative. They, they, they in the book. A lot of manipulation. They in the book, too. <laughs> a lot of manipulation comes with that entertainment. Because, you know, when you get all that money, you, your, 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 you're not grounded. Your head going a different process. That's for a lot of people that have made it. They hit it because you feel like I can buy anything. I can get mm-hmm. whatever woman I want. And a woman probably thinking the same. I can buy a woman. But more, yeah. more the men think like that because the women, you know, we have to keep a certain image. We right. probably sneak a through and probably doing it. Right. 
Right. But the man, they feel like, hell, I want to taste everything. So you got to have your mind made up when you married into that genre. Or have a man that saved Holy Ghost feel and water baptized. <laughs> Or, 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 or you can you get a taste? No, y'all like the taste. <laughs> and water baptized. Don't yeah, sprinkle. Y'all like you can't sprinkle them. You got you got to dunk them. That's why. That's dunk them. That's why it's a Christian. Hold them down. Did. Did you remember how Christy was saying how she went through the? And who, not it was Christy, the other lady. How she went to the locker rooms with her husband. Mm. And I can't remember who she was, but she was like, uh-uh, because she know the temptation it was against. She went to everything. And the man, the husband said he appreciated her because he needed that yeah. damn help. He was real. Yeah. Because people try to throw it on you. The women try to throw it in because they're trying to get that cash. So it's a different ball game Men. once you get in that successful field. Listen, I'm, I'm going to say it like this, guys. I know where y'all get Men. y'all information from. No, we We've know lived. You've been, we know, <laughs> We've we lived. been on that road. You've been We've in that field, so we know you know. Uh, a day, yeah, trust me. Uh, you know, and men can get coochie before they get a cheeseburger, ladies. Yeah. That's why you have to stand out and be the difference. Because if I'm mean, telling you, at that level of success, it's so easy. You know, but mm -hmm. if you if you want to sleep with somebody, do it because you want to. Don't go in thinking you're gonna sleep your way into a relationship. That's right. what I'm saying. Well, take, it's, somebody it's else's, take somebody else's. Take somebody because they just having fun. All right, we're going to wrap at this. We're going to take a quick commercial. But basically, none of this is going to happen overnight. These changes you want to see uh, within yourself, it has to start with you. You have to offer the things you want to attract, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not going to be overnight. But basically, at the end of the day, these kind of secure bonds are usually categorized by three things. Emotional availability, accessibility, uh, responsiveness and engagement. Uh, at the end of the day, people do what they want to do and people do what you let them. But it starts with you. you got to be the change you want to see. Um, like attracts like. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk about eight flags in relationships that you want to be aware of. And we're mm -hmm. going to talk more about Ryan and Kim's book. So y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back after this. Yay. Are you single? Maybe you're divorced or new in town. It's time to meet your match with events and adventures. Whether you're low-key or adventurous, come hang out with tons of like-minded people at exciting group activities. The best part? Everyone is single. From happy hours and trivia nights to outdoor adventures and weekend getaways, events and adventures has something for everyone. We're all here for the same reason. So come be part of a community made for singles. Your match is waiting for you to make your move. Visit eventsandadventures.com to get started. That's eventsandadventures.com. AT&T Fiber delivers a faster internet experience than cable. Ask me how to get 300 megabits per second for only $35 a month, plus taxes and fees, with no annual contract, no bundles required, and unlimited internet data included. Call Bus Up Houston Network at 832-895-5095. Again, that is Bus Up Houston Network at 832-895-5095. 5095 Maridate is for committed couples that are either engaged or married and would like to keep the dating in their marriage, fight for the family, and lower the divorce rate one couple at a time. We plan 30 to 50 events a month that include workshops, seminars, webinars, experts, and events all around town. This is for couples that want to develop friendships with other like-minded couples that take their marriage and vows seriously. We will also be offering premarital help so that you will not be a statistic. Would you and your partner like to take international vacations together with other couples and at group rates? When you are home, you will learn your city as you go to each new event. Your membership includes all of our locations. We take the guesswork out of creating, having, and keeping a strong marriage. Contact us today. Hey singles, do you feel it? The feeling like it's time to start having fun again? If you do, then you're ready to celebrate with events and adventures. There's never been a better time to join than right now. Meet new people with a packed calendar of fun events, exciting adventures, and future memories. It's time to live life to the fullest, to high five, skydive, and feel alive again. That feeling is here at Events and Adventures. If you're single and ready to celebrate, visit eventsandadventures.com to get started. That's eventsandadventures.com. Hey, 
into the Amber Neal Show with my co-host Ryan Yarbrough. We have a very special guest, Kim Mejia. She is in studio, best-selling author. She has some really awesome books. You want to get yours today. If you don't have it already, go to realwomanrealtalk.com. Real Woman, Real Talk. She has, this, this, guys, you want to get, the, uh, anybody, I'm telling you, you want to understand men a little bit Different better. Books. You mm -hmm. want to understand, I mean, you, the men mm -hmm. and women should get it for themselves, but also read it for each other. Yeah, exactly. Amazing, amazing. I'm telling y'all, this is one of the most amazing and informative book series I've seen. And then she also has the uh, Real Teen, Real Talk, because, hey, you know, I, I had my kids, my kids are in their 20s now. Mm -hmm. I feel sorry for parents trying to raise kids in this world. Like, woo! Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. when need help feel and sorry. Jesus okay feel okay. sorry for me don't feel sorry oh, for me don't feel it's sorry hard for me. Don't not, feel it sorry is for me. not even feel sorry for you I commend you because yeah. it is uh, it, 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 <laughs> 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 I counted on that teacher knowing algebra there ain't no way I was trying to homeschool uh, but <laughs> all right guys we're going to come back and uh, talk about her books a little bit more at the end of the show we're going to wrap up the show with this last segment mm -hmm. eight red flags that you should really look out for in a relationship what's number one Ryan Number one, believing that after it's yes, that is forever, forever, mm. ever, forever. Ever, ever. You told me yes. But never, never. But I told you yes a couple of years ago. I didn't tell you yes today, like I was saying earlier. Mm -hmm. If I tell you something, that's what it is, and to to tell you otherwise, mm -hmm. but that has to be addressed, you know, right. throughout throughout okay. the relationship. Okay. okay, that has to be addressed throughout the relationship because once again. I'm looking at some of these down here and some of the things that we have passed over as well as, you know, sometimes people get comfortable. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wait, that yeah. part. All right, but I'm going to leave that alone because we passed <laughs> that up. But, yeah. All right, so uh, number two is, this is the biggest one, I See? think, a red flag is, See? if you start feeling taken for granted mm -hmm. in the relationship or you're the one taking them for granted, listen, my, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine, he was like, why do you do, do your hair and makeup and get ready like that if you're, you know, not going anywhere? I'm like, one, it makes me feel better. It just makes me feel good. I'm not always going to do my hair and makeup when I'm sitting at home. But he was, I said, but if I'm trying to see somebody I'm interested in or somebody I'm dating, I remember my mom always stayed looking good. Always, mm -hmm. always looked good for my dad. She never let it go. She, she has a better body at 75 than half the women out here. She still looks sexy. She still yeah. looks good. She mm -hmm. didn't let herself go. And half right. y'all ladies are out here looking like Sears threw up in your closet with your sensible <laughs> mom jeans on. Y'all took off your heels. Now you got your, oh. slits, your slides on. And you wonder why he's looking at the sexy secretary. What mm -hmm. you did to get him is what you got to do to keep him. And yeah. vice versa. Yeah. Well, if you romance her, don't stop romancing her. Right. Don't get lazy. Don't get complacent. So, Because mm -hmm. my dad and my mom both told me every time your person leaves the house, they are in the world and they have all these other temptations and things around you and it's not about the physical appearance it's just make the effort Do, right. you know what I'm saying because if, a, <laughs> if you feel like well they're not making no effort for me and the man just lets himself go and he's got Dunlap syndrome and he, you know his belly done <laughs> lapped over his thing and you can't find Dunlap. it uh, you know what I'm saying like no that's way. that is I'm just saying like you got to keep making an effort what do you guys say I'm definitely in agreement. Make that effort, you know, and uh, make the effort. Keep yourself up, you know. Try to be looking. You don't have to be having makeup on every day and right. all that if you don't wear that. But just have your hair combed and looking pretty or whatever. Now, I like to wear makeup. So even sometimes when I'm not going somewhere, I just like to be cute. Me too. Every now and then I just be in the, in the mirror <laughs> and I be looking good. My husband be like, where are you going? I'm like, oh, nothing for sit on the porch. Exactly. <laughs> but I mean, keep yeah, sitting yeah, on the porch. Yeah. But, you know, I like to keep spice in my marriage. I'm Me just too. being honest. And I, 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 I do believe in that. And Aries. that's the way you keep it. That's the way you keep it. You got to be Aries. doing something different. I'm, I, hey, I'm full of tricks. You know? Aries. You know, so. <laughs> Girl. It almost fell out my shirt. Girl. Oh, that's a wrap. Oh, man. <laughs> We're strong up in here. We're strong. We're strong. We're strong up in here. You do. You have your date night. <laughs> Me and my husband would be at so. home on the weekend, and if we don't go nowhere, we had this music on. He, you know, he's foreign and you know we like salsa we could play music and then by ourselves have drinks by ourselves and sit and have our own party just be me and him 
That's that fun. Part. But yeah. see, that's the real thing. That leads to the spice. Yeah. That keeps everything. Yeah. You got to know how to do something to keep yeah. your... Most people be sitting there like, what am I going to do? Okay, you got your man right there with your, your woman. You can do something with that person that you're right there with. Yeah. And that's how you can tell if it's not going to endure, though. If you always got to be doing something, you always got to be going out or be seen or be doing... Yeah. Like, you've got to be do doing something home. and you don't just enjoy your time together, then that's yeah. a red flag that that probably yeah. is going to have some a movie person problems. don't like music, look at a movie. Make a romantic dinner, but mm-hmm. make the dinner cute. Cute. Now uh, we do this too. Now my husband loves to cook. Now if I go make a plate, he always have my plate dressed up and looking pretty. Aww, I love that. I That's love romantic. That. that is romantic. He, it's presentation. So he'll make a plate. He will have everything. Looking. A lot of times I put a food place on Facebook mm-hmm. because he done made it gourmet and make it Aww. looking pretty for me. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to take a picture that he be looking at me like, what's it, what's it look good? And presentation, mm-hmm. just like you want a, pres- a presentation yeah. for your food, yeah. that man and that woman want a presentation for you. You want a presentation exactly. from your man and he want a presentation from his woman. That's you right. want to be sitting there today. all the time with them hair rollers in your head and your hair sticking all up straight over your head. <laughs> it's simple thing. Well, you see how I got this hair wrap wrapped around here when I want to comb my hair? Oh, I can just go in and make my face I put a hair wrap on I just be just as cute. It's simple exactly. things yes. that you yes. can do. Now, if you don't want makeup and your hair all over your head, just wrap it up and just have your natural face and be cute. Be cute. And put your Make t effort. shirt on, your sexy. You know how you had them little boxes, yeah. shorts, your little shorts. Long be sexy you, for your husband in the house, honey. Just as long as you smell good. That's, yeah. all, that's the key. And thing. don't forget to wash your ass. You know you got to keep it clean. Brush your teeth. Right? That's the yeah, first thing. Yeah, y'all, 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 I'll tell you, there's some people out here you got to tell them to take a bath. Wash your ass. So keep it, yeah. They, so, so. they see it on Facebook all the time. So we Somebody we said, saying nothing the thing saying, wash your ass. Somebody said to me, I was like, why are you so straightforward, Amber? I'm like, and that, that's a good thing, right? What's the next no, hey, yeah. So so the next the next topic is topic, <laughs> y'all boy. Keeping secrets, telling lies, and looking for other options. Mm. Oh my God. I had okay. that written down <laughs> lying, ooh, cheating. Ooh. <laughs> if you catch them before you get married, lying and cheating and do that. That's a sign. It, the, I'm telling you, it ain't gonna change once they get me. I had a fool. I used to date, this is back in college, I used to date and he wind up finding out he had a kid by a girl. They got married. This fool's calling me from his wedding, crying to me, I love you though, but I love Oh no, honey! Like that's well, not. Why are you getting married? That's a sign. Don't get married. <laughs> but listen, if if they do it before you get married, they're gonna do it after they get married. More than like right, right. lying and until they find Jesus, arming. they've been so, baptized in the water. And then we go next to the ego-based relationship, and it Ooh. goes for the man and the woman. Mm, it goes right. for both. It goes for both because I mean I didn't realize when well, no, I realized it a while ago. Uh, but the, the women have egos as well. They try mm-hmm. to make it a masculine thing. The guys all the time, but mm-hmm. like like you like women think they are slicker in certain areas. They are slicker with the with the ego with the ego side. Oh well, now we are slick. Now I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you yeah, yeah, yeah. Ego side. Yeah. Now the difference with a woman, we just don't leave, you leave a trail. We do yeah. something really so don't find that trail, that trail yeah. again. The men, see, see they, that trail, a woman that trail, can always, that trail, I'm just being honest trail, with you, a woman can trail, always trip trail. out a man, even if she ain't really looking, you know, uh-huh. because that's just how, you know, y'all just leave a bad track or if you're doing something. But us, baby, I'm telling you, we're going to clean up all the tracks. We're yeah. gonna, we get through, we're going to dust everything up. You're going to see nothing, no clue. And that's why we can that's find what y'all doing, because we already know. Yeah, that's the stuff. I'm just telling you, I'm a woman, so I think like a woman. Yeah. And I know how to think like a man, so I'm just telling you how we operate. Now, y'all, y'all be sloppy with y'all men. So, if you're doing something, we going to catch it if you leave it there. Now, we, and, we, and look, you ain't even got to be that woman that go through the phone and all that crazy they be doing and all that. You ain't got to do all that. See, see. A lot of them be checking the phone. And I'm like, I'm not for doing what? It. Nah. If you look I'm for stuff, it. then guess what? More than likely, you're going to find, find it. it. Yeah. So, oh, you well. don't even go look for that. But, I mean, I'm going to say that's your now. I, I'm, I, I hope, you know, I feel like I'm. I ain't got all that going on. I don't like us. We older. But I'm just saying, Isn't a lot of the young ones are like that's still in competition, huh? Isn't that your answer? What? If you got to look, don't you really, ha- don't you already know the answer before you even find it? You know yeah, what you don't need to be with Before them. you even look into it, if you have After to look, look you already that's your sign, fool. <laughs> that, that he's, that, that's a red flag. And then that's well, setting boundaries also. It's, they, it's, yeah, I, I mean, that's a friends, ins- you know. They can be stuff. an insecure person, too, mm-hmm. regardless. Yes, yes. It's true. Regardless. It's true. They don't true. have to have no reason. It's just. I'm telling you. That's what I do. Every relationship, I'm going to look in the phone. Yeah. And then if you can't invite no girlfriends at your house because you think your man won't every woman that come, you crazy. 
Oh, girl. Because, you know, I had that kind of friends in my life when uh, I was younger. Uh, They'd be like, girl, don't bring no other women with you. I'm like, why? But you know I'd really be knowing why. But you had to play Right, both. right. Like, why? I want to like, if that's in the book. She don't, look, she don't trust no other women. She really don't trust you, but she let she you come. Yeah, she don't trust herself. Yeah, because she don't trust herself. But she allow you to come. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. she don't yeah, trust herself. Because you're the one telling her what a piece of crap he is, and so she already knows you don't want him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's jump on to the next one because we got to wrap up. But yes. um, next one. What's the next one? Continued arguments with no resolution. Oh. God. Okay, and this the flip of what said. we was talking about a little earlier. Yeah, mm-hmm. you always have to have some type of resolution. Most definitely, most definitely. I can't One way do or it. Another. I just, I can't yeah. keep. I can't. can't I, I get on. back to the first segment. I am not repeating myself. Hey, now you. Hear I just me. don't like arguments because I feel like the house is your peace heaven. That's not good. Yes. If you, if I can have peace in my house here, where can I have it? At? Amen. Yes. So I don't want to be in the house. I'm coming from a hard day's work out here trying to, you know, talk and do speak speaking engagements or selling books or whatever I've done and I got to come home or I want to come home eat sleep and go to bed make some love or whatever go with that and you know but I don't want to come to no fight Mm-mm. So people, nope. you know, that's that's out of that's out the question. I'm not doing it. I mean, you get to yeah. a certain age. I think you need right. to this age, age now. Nah, sure like, no way. Right. I didn't do not, that when I was young. So I mm-hmm. damn sure I ain't trying to do it at 55. Not in today's man. world. Life's too short to be wasting time on arguing over and over. <laughs> right. Um, how about how about having a communication gap? Mm. How about that? That can be an issue if you don't can't communicate. You always got to be able to communicate whatever the situation is that's going on. Whatever is at hand, you should be able to, even like you're saying, every time you don't always agree mm-hmm. with everything, but you still be able to talk about it and reach some kind of resolution and you get past it. That's, right. that's what we do. And you, whether it's an agreement or agreement, we're going to make some type in a, in a peaceful way. That's right. And you go, okay, well, this, this, okay, well, I can compromise, or maybe they can say I compromise. And we draw that line, and that's where it is, and we go on about our business. Exactly. Done and over with. What's the next one? Being an option and not a priority. Mm-mm. Being oh an God. option oh, and no, not a yeah, priority. No, I'm your wife. I'm your damn priority. <laughs> <laughs> and ain't no option to go That's with That's before it. kids, <laughs> external family, your career. That's right. Ain't uh, no option to go with that. Because you're really hurting yes. yourself. You're one person. Mm-hmm. You're really hurting yourself when you hurt your other person by treating them like they're not a priority. Yeah. People won't. But listen, men need to be needed, but women need to be wanted. wanted. Yes, it goes both so ways. So if you ain't making me feel wanted, I'm not, not a priority. You can't be needed. And that's what they say. I, I told my friend this the other day. I said, people are only as busy as important as, as you are important. That's right. I mean, that's it. What's the last one, Ryan? That's right. And the last one is breaking up over and over. Make, oh, make over up to break up. Over Ooh, and that's over that's again. That's classic toxic. Yeah. I, th- I think uh, some people like doing that, though. You know, these some of these new schools, I think they some of them get a kick out of it. I'm like. Yeah, I don't get it. That's all I can say. He loved me, or she loved me. (laughs) You know, but the the real argument is if you really love Mm -hmm. him, you'll never leave. And, but you know, but sometimes I, but I also do agree that sometimes you do need that separation to yeah. really appreciate what you got. Yeah. Well, that's before you get married. I don't need you separate from me. Yeah. I got married your ass. But <laughs> I'm just saying. But okay. But but that's but that's real. I, I ain't trying to give you no time to go out there and dibble in the street and come back to me. No, no, no. So you, been, you know, I think once we got married, yeah, if we're gonna separate. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be separated in that other room. You're going and going to bed. I right. Go, but now we ain't just break up during this marriage because I thought I might not want you when you come from the street. Right. So I just think a little different on that. <laughs> I mean, and I agree mind. with you, though. I also agree. I also am addressing the people that never healed and got married. So it's yeah. like sometimes you have to have a separation. But I agree with you. I think a separation in the house is better if you can mm-hmm. do it like that, especially the kids' benefit. But because mm-hmm. being in the house and you're fighting all the time, it's not good for the kids either. That's what that would work for your household. I'm just saying mm-hmm. it doesn't work for mine, but it might work for some others. So that works for your house, so hey, do whatever you can to kind of keep your marriage. I just feel like... Get a counselor involved if you Yeah, can. I just feel like people don't believe in fighting for marriage right now. See, they they want to fight for everything except for their unity. Exactly. And you have to be willing to fight for that unity. Mm-hmm. And people are going through hell. They're going through a lot of different things, but you have to have that forgiveness. You got to have that, that forgiveness mm-hmm. and try to get over some of these humps and things and forgive the person. I'm not saying if they're repetitious and constantly doing things over and over here now, we're going about their business. <laughs> but if they done made a mistake and you got that forgiveness, Forgive and get past that and move on with your marriage. Try to make your marriage last. I make think that work. is agree. Most people want the wedding, not the marriage. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, forgiveness really is vulnerability and forgiveness are probably mm-hmm. the two biggest words I talk about as a date coach. Mm-hmm. Because you're going to upset each other. Just make sure it's some.
somebody that's worth it. All right, guys, we got to take a quick break. Kim, what upcoming projects uh, should we be looking from you? And then we're going to hit our afterthoughts here in just a minute. Well, right now I have the women's retreat that was supposed to be for February, but I'm pushing it back so you have a time to go. You have time to go. I'm pushing it back to May due to COVID because I don't want nobody saying, well, we're on Kim retreat and got COVID. You're damn lying. Right. So I pushed that back. <laughs> I say, I'm going to do it these hot months where it's hot and they can burn, that COVID can burn right. all that hair. Yeah. Yeah. It's always fun to go. In the winter because of the bonfire, but we're going to bonfire in the summer. I know, that's right. So I just pushed that back for May. I got that coming up. And then, you know, of course, what we got secretly that we're working yeah. on. We got a few secret things going on. Mm-hmm. They haven't been quite put into place, so I don't really want to talk about them right now. Yes. All but, right. But so, so far, it's the women's retreat, so. I get a copy of her books, guys. Real woman, real talk. I'm, mm-hmm. Listen, I'm telling you guys. This is amazing. I'm telling y'all, these are amazing, amazing, amazing. When we come back, guys, we're going to uh, hear some afterthoughts, see what Kim really thought of today's show. And uh, for more information about her, realwomanrealtalk.com, more information about Ryan. Believe so you can achieve. Watch out. All right, ryanyarbrow.com and amberneal.com. When we come back, we're going to give you our afterthoughts. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right and that's back. our social media, Real Woman Real Talk also. Oh, Real Woman Real Talk group and Instagram. Follow me. Give me some likes. Give her some love, guys. We'll be right back. Events and Adventures knows how to make the most of being single. Get social, in person, try new things, and just have fun. Join Events and Adventures. We've been doing the single life right for over 30 years. 30 great events every month. Just visit eventsandadventures.com. AT&T Fiber delivers a faster internet experience than cable. Ask me how to get 300 megabits per second for only $35 a month, plus taxes and fees, with no annual contract, no bundles required, and unlimited internet data included. Call Bus Up Houston Network at 832-895-5095. Again, that is Bus Up Houston Network at 832-895-5095. Limited availability may not be available to your Speed claims based on the Hello everyone, this is Judge Mike Engelhart. I've been one of your elected trial court judges since 2008. I'm running for the first court of appeals in the 2022 election. If you can hear this ad, I'm asking for your vote in the March 1st, 2022 Democratic primary. I've been named trial judge of the year and I'm a board certified lawyer. Please vote for me, Mike Engelhart, to send a qualified, reasonable, and fair judge to the first court of appeals. That's me, Judge Mike Engelhart, for the first court of appeals. Please register to vote and vote for Judge Mike Engelhart for the first court of appeals. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Peace and blessings, everyone. This is Ryan Yarbrough, Mr. Believe So You Can Achieve. Today, we had a wonderful, wonderful show. We had a great guest, a uh, longtime friend of mine, Miss Kimberly Mahia. When I tell you about firecracker, man, I'm, I'm short stopping when I say firecracker, okay? She a big old bang, all right? When she come in the room, her energy fills up the whole inside and outside. But one of the things, or a couple of topics that we talked about today were uh, eight flags in the relationship. Uh, we also talked about what a secure relationship is, but the main thing that we did is we sat here and we enjoyed Kim, okay? Kim, as you'll see, she'll talk about a few things herself, but Kim is an outstanding author. She's an outstanding philanthropist, and she's out in this community putting it down, all right? If she's not at one of your events, then I can't really say that your event is popping, all right? But with all that being said, my name is Ryan Yarbrough, and I'm Mr. Believe So You Can Achieve. You can get my book at ryanyarbrough.com, where you can get me for appearances. All right? You can get me on talk shows. You can get me to come show up. Okay? But the main thing is you're going to have access to me one way or the other. So with all that being said, have a wonderful, 
peaceful rest of the day and always continue to believe so you can achieve. All right. Hello, hello. I just had a great time on the Amber Neal show today. Here with Amber Neal and Ryan Yarbrough. It's been fantastic. I love what we talk about talked about today. We we're talking about these different relationships and the, and the signs and the things that you should do to keep that relationship together and the things, the warning signs of breaking up for the relationship or not to get married, rather. The, you'll see the warning signs before this thing comes to together. So look for the woman's warning signs. Keep your eyes open and pay attention. It has been a great segment today. I really enjoyed myself with such enthusiasm with two great uh, hosts and I'm just so happy to be a part of this show today. I mean it was just so exciting and so fulfilling for me. I definitely picked up some more nuggets. Please follow me. I have my three books of course. I have It's a Man's World, Real Teen, Real Talk, and Real Woman Real Talk, please follow me on my social media, media which is realwomanrealtalk.com. You can order the book, cups, jackets, and everything here. You'll definitely have to inbox me for the other two. But this is my main priority here right now, and it's everywhere, like Walmart, Target, Diamonds, Baylor's, a lot of different stores, Barnes & Noble. But I try to get you to go to my website, my website as it's always. And definitely enjoy being on the show today. And if you need it, you want to book me, you can book me online at Real Woman Real Talk. Also, all my social media is the same. Please follow me. Please support. Please look for my upcoming events. And just keep the love rolling. I just say keep everything, do everything you do in love, do everything in peace, be vulnerable in your relationships, do the communication, do the work, heal, and then you can just make things come together. But you have to do the work. Have such a great time. Hey guys, it's your girl Matchmaker, Amber Neal, and what a great show. Oh my God, I love Kim. You know why? Because she's not passive aggressive. Because she is, it. she tells you how it is. And I, I, I love honest people. I love genuine people. And that honesty and that genuine will, t will transcend to all areas of your life. I once heard someone say, how you do one thing is how you do everything. And I think there's a lot of truth to that. And as I mentioned on the show, I just wanted to reiterate this one point about when um, I'm date coaching or matchmaking. One of the things I find why people are single, they're like, I'm so great. I'm such a great catch. Why am I still single? Because of you. You're not willing to do the work to go on the self-love journey to be able to be vulnerable. Those are the two words I use the most, vulnerability and forgiveness. You know, we always think that we're going to have this, you know, Disney's done really, uh, Disney and Pornhub have definitely given us two versions of uh, <laughs> stepmoms, right? But the reality of it is, is that you are going to have problems. You're going to have arguments. It's not about the argument. It's about did you stay in respect when you did it? Because you start name calling, you start doing things out of the ordinary that are just going to add to it. Now you're fighting over that and not even the real problem. So stay respectful respectful understand that the only person that's going to have a problem with your boundaries is someone trying to manipulate you but at the end of the day forgiveness is the word I want you to really think about and meditate on that because if we all of us lived in this world and gave the mercy that we want to get back I think this world would be a lot better place so forgive others so that you can be forgiven and learn to observe it and not absorb it don't take it personal when people are unhealed hurt people hurt people so when you meet people and they start treating you wrong understand 
okay, you're in the unhealed category. And the thing about it is, is you're, you don't have a life calling to be building a boo and saving people. You, that self-love journey is something they have to go on their own. But it's okay to forgive them and support them as they do learn how to heal themselves. At the end of the day, mental health focus is the number one thing in the country. Stop shaming people. Uh, the suicide rate from COVID has gone through the roof. Domestic violence gone through the roof. All, but the good news is there is some good news. For the first time in 30 years, 70% of children are in a double household family. So we're doing something right. Let's, let's, let's piggyback on that. Maybe it was COVID that put us all back in the same house. But whatever it is, let's wait. And because I think the millennials have it right in this one thing. They are waiting to get married. They're waiting to have kids because they understand that, that if you do it too young and you're not mature and you're not ready or healed, you're going to wind up with a divorce. So the, the average kid, the average age of a woman now is 27. Back when I, man, they were having them in high school when I grew up. So kudos to all the women that have realized that it's not, we don't just get our identity anything external it's not about what husband you get that's going to make your life now the wrong spouse will definitely break your life but at the end of the day stay focused on you your self-love journey your truth and watch what you manifest watch what you attract get a copy of her books today it is a man's world and honey it still is but this book will blow you away as a man and a woman um i love her book too the real woman real talk she goes in and breaks down like 80 something different personality types a woman scorn hmm. yeah we know about that one but more than anything Kim and I met because we have a destiny together to reach the teenagers that is who we're here to help so if you are out there today and you're watching this and you're a teen and you're going through strife struggle and you need help reach out to us at the show we have a lot of resources that we can help tap you into and at the end of the day guys Kim said it best operate from a place of love love is the whole purpose of our existence love is what we're here for and love is what we're meant to put on the planet y'all stay tuned we got more great shows coming up for you in 2022 if you want to see how you can become part of the adventure if you need pr matchmaking event planning comedy anything with business hit me up and uh, i'm also the president of the boss up network we're looking to create a show for you so hit us up amberneal.com bossuphoustonnetwork.com and we'll see you next time here on the amber neal show stay blessed Maridate is for committed couples that are either engaged or married and would like to keep the dating in their marriage, fight for the family, and lower the divorce rate one couple at a time. We plan 30 to 50 events a month that include workshops, seminars, webinars, experts, and events all around town. This is for couples that want to develop friendships with other like-minded couples that take their marriage and vows seriously. We will also be offering premarital help so that you will not be a statistic. Would you and your partner like to take international vacations together with other couples and at group rates? When you are home, you will learn your city as you go to each new event. Your membership includes all of our locations. We take the guesswork out of creating, having, and keeping a strong marriage. Contact us today.